and uh, the application is quite simple right so main topic which we are actually applying here is about the lighting and the shading so the requirements for this lab program is to draw a simple shaded seam consisting of a teapot on a table provided you are also need to give the suitably the position and properties of the light source along with the properties of the surface of the solid object used in the scene. What do you understand from this? We see that we need one teapot and teapot should be placed on a table. And uh, the next requirement is uh, let's just draw a particular table, a rough figure. A table has a tabletop, and a table will have usually a normal table will have four legs. So these are the front two legs, and these are the back two legs. And he is also letting us know that we have to draw a particular teapot uh, with the lid. Right. So this is just a rough image so we have a lid let's assume all right so apart from that he is also specifying define suitably with position and properties of light as we all know that uh, properties of light is i need an object i need a viewer so viewer can be over here viewer can view the particular teapot from this face or he can also view it from this particular view also he can see from this place he can see from this place or he can be on the other side he can visit from this place also it depends whichever view which you want so in order to view a viewer should also have what should, should be positioned over this table it, it can uh, it can be in the x-axis varying with the x-axis varying with respect to the y-axis and varying with respect to z axis also the viewer can actually view in a 365 uh, 360 degrees right he can be he can view from the top he can view from the left side from the bottom from the right side from the top that's how it does right that's that's what it matters and suitably refers to we have a viewer I have uh, suitably in the sense this table is not only with uh, a mesh table or it, it's, it's not just a filled object. Of course, it's a filled object, but still it, it should have some properties. So what could be the properties here? The properties could be what will be the table color, right? So what will be the table color? So if it is a uh, table, then it has to be filled with uh, some color. Right, so this table has to be filled. In the sense, what I'm telling you is it has to be a valid. It should look like realistic. Of course, computer graphics, we are actually working on the realistic images. How to make it much more realistic is what we look into, right? So this will be, this should be filled with a brown uh, color. So now you can assume that it's, yes, it's actually uh, looking like a, particular table and let's assume that okay this is one particular teapot which is of black color okay so other requirement or the other required uh, material or how you want to view it how you want to see it that's all depends upon your imagination all right so he's not straight away telling you that I have to see from this way or from this way or from the top or from the bottom. It is not specified, right? Always go through the question clearly. So define suitably the position and properties of light. Now we, we spoke about the light source, right? So light source, uh, light source can be over here. Light source can be over here. It can be on the top. It can be on the bottom. It can be from the side, right? What are the effects of light? Providing the light from different sources is okay. Fine. I understand. But what are the properties of light? Properties of light is it 
has to create a shade. Right? So if in case my light source is on top, if the light source is on top, then the shading part, whatever the shading color, uh, it should be on. It should be over on the other side, right? So uh, this is where the um, all your shading of this particular table to be falling on, right? So here again, I have a, a very, very light way of uh, here. I may have this table. Right? I'm, I'm just giving the rough image here. So anyhow, this can be a shaded area, right? So this is one realistic, right? Shared. Let's assume this has a light source. Uh, let's make it as a colored one. But anyhow, we are not actually showing this color. I'm just uh, telling you how exactly it sees. And he's also telling us that source along with the properties of the surface of the solid object used in the scenes. Right. Apart from that, uh, for my case here, the program which we have written, the chair will not be on this side. All right, the shear will be on the other side way because I'm viewing as a from the viewer side, right? So viewing from the viewer side in the sense, uh, my light source is over somewhere here, right? Uh, that means, uh, yeah, my light source will be from this way, this side, right? So how, how exactly the light is projected? Right, so it is falling from where I'm viewing. All right, if your uh, from uh, if your light source is the same place that from where you're viewing, then where will the uh, shared will be falling? Right, the shared will be falling on the other side. Simple. Right, so let's not uh, let's make it as this color. Right, the shared will be somewhere over here, or it can also be over somewhere over here. It depends on. Uh, where exactly you're filling it, right? So it depends on the light source, of course. That's one of the property of uh, light. The other thing is, uh, whenever you're speaking about the material, material in the sense, what type of uh, surface it is? Is it, is it smooth? Is it rough? Is it garroured? Uh, is it is it having a face dead uh, shape, or is it's very curvy, or with the smooth, shiny? Right? These are the lighting properties. Right, so as we uh, discussed before, much more uh, effects if you want to give uh, with the case here or with the word requirement, you can always um, draw. Uh, it can be of uh, one particular uh, uh, one sort of a wall, right? So you can you can place it over here and you can uh, join it. Or make it in in the sense that it is a wall, right? so that can also be done. But uh, yeah, with my case here, I'm just connecting all the dots uh, so that it gives uh, that effect of the wall. All right, so I think yeah, this is one wall. Similarly, uh, in this application, I'm also developing another uh, wall, right? Another wall. Uh, Oops, sorry for this. So it will be in this way. Right? It's your wish. You can give however you want with the wall, whichever color you want. Uh, that doesn't matter, but still, uh, for our easier understanding here, we're just filling it with. We're just, uh, we are just filling it with uh, the colors. All right? Uh, I think this is the rough uh, figure which I can fill. Mm, you can also fill it with other color, whichever is necessary. So this is uh, somewhat called as a materialistic mm, uh, property or materialistic view. Or okay, another thing is we also have the light source, as I said, from uh, the way from the way I'm viewing, right? So even this will also have some shading uh, effects, right? So. Here somewhere I'll, I might get some shading part of this wall and teapot uh, will be shining, right? Shining in the sense 
uh, at one particular side it, it will be shiny right uh, because teapot is a very shiny uh, surface uh, which we are which we will be using all right so roughly this is how a teapot will look like a teapot application will look like now uh, we shall look into the uh, code how exactly uh, it looks before that let's let us see um, a rough image right so here if you can see uh, let me increase the aspect ratio of the image here and yeah you can see that i have a table and table i have a teapot right one thing here i'm not creating a teapot create teapot has already been there as an uh, built-in function i just create a, i just take that teapot i fill with whatever colors I, which i want and I'll uh, also define the size of a teapot, right? I'm not creating a teapot. Teapot is teapot is an inbuilt function which is already there. The only thing which I'm worried upon here is this particular side. This side or this particular block has some thickness, has some color, has some texture, All right? So uh, here also I have another box or a, another wall. It also have the same properties of light. It also has the same property of uh, the texture, right? And what material it is, right? And then we also have a flooring here, right? We also have a flooring and we have a table with the leg, all right? So now you can see my light source is from the other side, right? So how do I know that light source is over here? Because uh, I get the shininess from towards the uh, position of the light, basically, right? So I, I send the light source, light, light uh, properties, and uh, it is making a shininess uh, like effect, All right? So apart from that, uh, yeah, these are the properties I think we'll, we shall locate the code then without wasting much of our time. As you all know, uh, from where does the application execution start from? Application execution always starts from the main method, and we have to get the vector properties from uh, as an input. So we get the character count and the argument vector uh, array, uh, and we initialize the glut init, right? So with the argument count and argument vector. And what do you see? Is this a three dimensional image? Uh, is it a three dimension image? Yes, it is a three dimension image. You can uh, easily say that uh, the image is having some three dimension properties. Right? So, uh, three dimension properties, what all come under the three dimension properties? There will be a depth, there will be a buffering. Right? So, what is the depth here? Uh, do I look into any of the properties of depth? That means this is near and this board is farther or this board is farther and this teapot is near. Of course, teapot is near and this object of a wall is on the back end side. Right, so that is one property. And uh, the other thing is, uh, are we using colors here? Yes, I'm using colors with the values of red, green and blue. And do we have uh, uh, any uh, uh rotation or any animation here so is there any necessity to have more than one buffering so no animation no rotation and uh, nothing much involved in the animation too so single buffer is more than enough and if you have any rotation if you have if you want to rotate any object if you want to spin something if you want to turn if you want to view uh, anything you need a, a double buffer so the usage of uh, single buffer is more than enough at this particular point. The other thing is, as you all know, this facility of glutinic window size is 500 by 500 pixels, and the position is 00. zero. That means it starts from this particular location, and uh, the name of this particular window is teapot on a table. So, is a teapot on the table is what the application which uh, this window is holding, and yeah, we go with the init. As you all know, init method has clearing with respect to the background. What's our background? 000, zero, zero refers to black color. That means my background is black. And we are using, uh, we are drawing something. We, we have a table, we have a uh, teapot, we have the wall, 
which are including with respect to some lines and uh, projections. So we are letting know that yes, we are using matrix more with GL projections. That means we are drawing something. So initializing whenever you use a projection mode, then automatically it will be with the you have to load the matrix. And uh, we don't load it with random values. We initialize with the identity matrix, right? So the diagonal will be the values will be there as it is a three dimension to X, y, X coordinates, Y coordinates, and as well as with the Z coordinates also. Uh, make an impact over here. And we also have a GL ortho uh, function that is your, uh, uh, which is giving you the six values, right? With X and uh, 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 the with the values of x and y, and uh, yeah, we have the GL matrix mode with the GL model view, positioning where exactly uh, it has to be set. Uh, we will be letting it know, and apart from that, straight away we go with our logic of a method uh, for application that is our display. Right? We go for the display method, and what is that? You need to get it. Right? Display method is. Uh, where the logic holds, so initialize the thing which are needed. So we, what are the things which we have over here? What are the things which we have over here? We have a, we ha initially we have a teapot, right? So we have a teapot, and uh, we have the tabletop, and we have the stable leg, and we have the wall. These are the four important objects which we are actually looking into. And these four objects are given with a uh, values, right? So it will be uh, with respect to the thickness, mm -hmm. or how do we uh, how do we use it, right? So there are some thickness of the wall here. There is some thickness of the table. If it's a uh, with the leg, it has some changes. So uh, apart from that. We also, as we are using a single buffer here, uh, it's your uh, thing to be uh, clearing the buffer bit as well as with the depth of it. So both the things are needed. So you need to clear the buffer bit. Why? Because uh, you use a single buffer and uh, previously whatever we had in that buffer, we need to take it off. If you're not using it, you, you get some other colors. Right? And uh, the depth buffer, too, you have to clear it. So we use that line and uh, dealing with the glue load identity. And yeah, load identity is where uh, we are using the uh, matrix methods for most of our calculations here. So uh, load it with the identity whenever you create it, whenever you uh, add any of the, uh, when you want to create a leg or when you create, you want to create a top of a table or on the side wall or uh, on or on the basement right so all these things have to be uh, taken into consideration we also have a method called as glue look at and it has a nine uh, varieties of i uh, uh, where it is look and at right so i with x y and z and look is zero 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 and what you are viewing right so these are the attribute values which glue look at will be actually holding it's basically the property of your camera and viewing. So from where you're viewing, what you're viewing, right? So I'm viewing from this way. That means my object should be here. Right? What are you looking? From where you are looking, right? You, the object might be here itself. You, you might be viewing from X. We can vary the X and Y and as well as with the Z uh, directions of the camera position. But the other thing is, okay, you can vary this, provided the object should also be somewhere else, right? So it should be from here. You can view from here, right? You you can project it somewhere, but the I look at all the three values are actually uh, giving some values over here too. The other thing is uh, here I have uh, differentiated the method of light. Right? Light has different properties, and these properties are different for uh, a different material, right? So. Uh, here we can see with the light um, lighting arrangements, which I can call, and we have the ambience with the ambience color of it, and we have the diffuse uh, as 0.5 and the specularity as one and the shininess uh, for as 50. And we also know that 
more the shininess coefficient if you give it as with the 100 right that alpha value which we actually looked into right so that alpha value uh, if it is more than 50 or 100 uh, then you have a, a very shininess right and you also can see that the shininess is applied only for the teapot but not over everything right? we will see it uh, regarding the light effects for which all uh, we are actually providing it right so uh, we have this uh, these are like the built-in uh, things which we actually use right so for ambience uh, material materialistic property is you have it from the front view and uh, gl ambient is what the built-in uh, parameter says and what are the values for your ambient is what we have given here that is one 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 so ambience of the color will be taken similarly for ambience diffuse and specular as well as with the shininess coefficient you have to initialize with the value so any uh, th there won't be any changes over here right if you can change with the values only these are the values which you can change and provided whatever the array whichever you have given here for the ambience value and for the diffusion for the specular as well as with the shininess you have to provide it clearly over here with the same name All right so where exactly is the lighting position the lighting position is 2, 6, and 3, 2 with the x-axis, uh, 6 with the y, and 3 is with respect to the z-axis. So light intensity is, uh, we have varies from 0 to 1 actually, we have given it as 0 0.7, 0 0.7, and uh, uh, 0.7 with respect to the intensity of uh, red, intensity of green, and intensity of blue. All right, so next is, um, we have a GL light 0, which is giving us the facility of uh, the uh, the lighting effects and propose uh, proposing that uh, how it looks at looks like right we also have the position uh, of the light intensity we are we have, which we have specified over here uh, we give it over as an array towards our function gl light fv and similarly for uh, our intensity uh, that will be our diffused light uh, that will be sent with the array name, uh, whatever you have specified over here. All right, so that's about the light property. So once we are done, we need uh, this. This is what adding the light properties. We have done it. So first thing is we are creating a teapot. Right, create a teapot uh, with the the size of zero, and uh, it's a filled teapot. Right, so filled teapot, and apart from that, you are also creating a table stop. Right, so. Uh, with respect to the few values here i have the properties of it pro properties of each and everything because as i told you i need a, a teapot i need a tabletop there are four legs for the table remember four legs any one of the legs you skip it will be taken off as simple as that and also you need to be very specific in uh, letting the people uh, know in the diagram where exactly the leg should come. Leg, leg can come anywhere, right? Leg should have the small thickness too. Right? So it also have those values. And uh, how many walls do we have in the image? We have one, two, and also the basement. Remember that we have three walls. Right? One is on the on the front, on the side, and as well as with the bottom. So we are creating three walls here by uh, giving the wall specifications of 00, zero and some uh, values of it, right? So first we'll start with the teapot uh, value here. So uh, one second. Okay. So teapot is what we are creating now. Uh, yeah, going back to the teapot method. Okay, what does that do? It is taking three values. One is with zero, and the other one is for some value of teapot P, and the other one was with respect to the Z. Right. So what is what are these values X, Y, and Z? And here, those X and Y are actually in which you are facing it. Where exactly you are facing it? What are the X uh, cases? Right. So those are the X, Y, and Z value. You, you can move it varying this x y z values we can move on the table if you want you can also put this t table on the top i mean uh, on the floor right so you can place it over anywhere it's a, a artificially generated image you can put it anywhere mm, uh, 
on this particular screen. All right. So, and what type of a teapot it is? It's a solid teapot. You also get a mesh teapot. You also uh, get a faceted teapot, right? So, it is a very simple, a small teapot. Varying with this value will vary your teapot size. Varying, I'm, I have given it as a point 0.1. If you give it as a one, it will be a ten times the bigger as that of this teapot, and it will be taking uh, complete place of this table and doesn't look good, right? It should be considerably matching with respect to the environment uh, with which it is best suited. So point one is the size of your teapot. And yeah, it, it's it's pushed into the stack, right? Uh, why do we, why are we looking on the stack here should be your concern. Uh, we are stacking everything one after the other, right? So whenever I say stacking here, uh, this is first, this is second, this is third, and this is fourth. Everything is placed one top of the other, right? So whenever you take it off, if you take this teapot outside, then you get a table. If you take out this table top outside, then you get the uh, chairs of it, right? Then if you take out the chairs, then you get the wall. That's what exactly this push matrix, pop matrix is actually doing. Everywhere on the tabletop, for the legs and for the walls, we are using the stack or and push methods to deal with it. I hope we don't have any issues regarding the um, the teapot which we have created here, right? So next, once we are done with the teapot, we have created the teapot. Then we come back. Then we come back with respect to the display mode, right? So what what is that we are displaying next? So the teapot is done. The table top is the next one. So we have to create the table top. It's if you place this teapot on the other side of the wall, you won't be seeing the teapot itself. Why? Because in the stack, last come first in, right? Right. So last uh, come first out, last, uh, last in first out. So the next thing is once you have the teapot, then you are facing the table. If you mess up with the leg and table, leg will be seen and table will be on, on the other side. It's just with respect to uh, who has drawn uh, when, as simple as that. Mm -hmm. All right. So once the teapot is done, then we are moving with the tabletop. Tabletop value is zero, tabletop P and zero. And also remember that we are also sending the XYZ values. Uh, XYZ values for teapot that was zero with X and teapot is over position is 0 0.07 with negative Y. Remember that. All right. So next. Table top is zero, and what is the table top value here? That is negative 0.15 will be with the y-axis and with the zero. So this function will be called uh, the table top. Table top, okay. Table top is over here. The same way, right? We have a push matrix. We have a translate, and here we are scaling it to what uh, box we are looking at, right? Of course, here also I'm not drawing with respect to the lines, right? As you can see, I'm creating a solid structure. Uh, because the solid cube is already a built-in function. So what my suggestion to you is you should know which which are the inbuilt functions which are already available. We have many of such things. We have a donut like uh, image. Uh, we have the filled uh, objects, faceted line and uh, rough surface, shiny surface. Many things are already present. You just need to call it, right? You just need to call it and override with your values. Right. So once you override with the values, whatever values which you gave, it will be taking into consideration. So yes, we we are using the glut solid cube of uh, with the value of one, and we are scaling it with the x, y, and z, and we are drawing it as simple as that. So what do we have? We have the teapot. Behind the teapot, we have the tabletop. Right. So we have a teapot, and behind that, we have a tabletop, and behind that. Uh, we 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 have uh, four leg values, right? Four leg values. So leg P is giving you 0 0.15. Remember that. So these are actually dealing with respect to the y, y values, and uh, the if you vary with any of these values, uh, those images will change. When we'll look into that, right? So creating the first leg, we'll look into the one of the leg. So one leg is again, it's a solid cube. 
and it is scaled in x axis of 0.02 and y with 0.3 and z with 0.02 and we have a, a beautiful leg which is created right so similarly leg 1 leg 2 leg 3 leg 4 and all the four legs will be uh, in turn created then apart from that uh, we need three walls one with the straight one with the right and one with respect to the third one. one is with left one is with right and the other one is on the bottom right so we look it over in the wall same way with matrix translate here also scaling glut solid cube pop matrix right? it's a very simple application um only thing which you need to look into here is values right if you give random values also uh, it will be a uh, uh, something else right so it should be a proportional value which i can say right so once you create all these value then we will be calling it and it will be printing uh, it will be printing and here we also need to let know that in the function we have uh, utilized the lighting uh, properties the light properties the light source uh, what type of surface it is the normalization and what type of 3d depth uh, which it is giving and i'm putting it in a loop why because it is not like just it is showing and it is turning it off all right so um, let's run let's anyhow running in the sense i have already run the application so we here uh, we have the teapot, we have the table, we have the four legs, and we have all the things, right? So we'll, we'll just vary the values of few things here and let us uh, know. The first thing is let's vary with respect to the teapot size. So I'm just giving it as a 0.5, and whenever you look into the particular teapot here, it will be a very big one, considerably uh, to that of the previous one, right? So. Uh, Point 0.1, if you also need it very small, give it in the decimal places. And if you give one also, it will be a very huge one, a very huge tip. Can you see this? Uh, everything it has uh, basically, uh, it has uh, uh, overrided, right? So it is a very, very, very big teapot. So make it, keep it as, as simple as uh, it looks and uh, and also, uh, yeah, let me make it as 0, 0.5. So it will be considerably a, a much more uh, smaller teapot, right? So uh, it's all with your hands or the programmer. Right? That's what I can see. And varying with respect to the tabletop, right? Scaling with X, Y, and Z, right? So these, uh, these values, right? So. If I give everything as uh, 0.5, if I have a 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 everywhere, as you can see, it will uh, give you as this particular box, right? With x value, how much I scale, y value, how much I scale, and with z value, how much I scale. So these x and y. So it became a cube, in fact, right? So why? Why? Because I have given the cube values here, right? So try to give the valid valid values so in x it is elongating it for the 0.6 times and for the y it is elongating for 0 0.02 if you want it to be uh, like much more uh, bigger than that of what it was looking and you can actually uh, see that it's a bit thicker thicker with respect to the size right but still it's a table i'm not telling that it is not a table but it has to match with the aspect ratio which um uh, we are looking at right so um the two value and again you can always increase the size right i can increase with respect to the solid or mesh or whatever the case right the next one is uh, the table leg table leg with x y as well as with the z right as you can see the thickness of the table leg here is 0.02 thickness of the table with x is 0 0.02 but y is more y is more and how much is that y y is 0 0.3 and what about the x value x thickness is 0 0.02 what about the z z is also a very small one right so if you want it to be a very smaller like 
you want it to be a very smaller like then I'll give it as 0.5. Right, so dealing or giving any values of that will reduce your leg to very small size. Get it? So these are the variations. Uh, we don't have uh, much things. It, it looks like a, okay, there's something new we are, which we are learning, but it's a very small and uh, straightaway uh, image. All right, so yeah, here you can give it as 0.2 or 0.3 or whatever the value. Um, right. So similarly, all the four legs uh, will be created uh, based on the X, Y, Z, whichever you send it over that. Those X, Y, Z are different for different legs, different for different legs. Always also deal with the proper values, right? If you're dealing with irregular values, gone. It will, it will print you something else that we don't want. And also with respect to the wall here, we have three walls. Uh, basically, these walls are also a solid cube, right? So, so the same method, as I said, everything will be the same with whatever the X, Y, Z values. That is what you're, you have to remember, right? And also we are rotating the wall uh, for some wall and some for other wall we are not rotating. Right? So rotation of wall is um, how 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 exactly you actually view it over here, right? So the wall is actually placed in the 90 degrees to each other, like orthographic, right? Like orthogonal to each other. Right? So that's one particular case which you have to look into. So I think you people have enjoyed. Uh, so yeah, thank you. That's it for this teapot session.